Hello, my name is Danny Berkeley and I am a technical marketing manager here at VMware and I'll be showing you how to upgrade TKGI. First thing you'll want to do is get the current version of TKGI that you are using. You also want to get the current version of Operations Manager that you are using as well. Then get the version of vCenter and NSX as well. Take these and put them in the interoperability matrix. So you can create a upgrade path that keeps all of the versions on a compatible version throughout the entire upgrade process. Then go to the Tanzu network so you can download the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid integrated packages that you'll use to upgrade the tile. I have already downloaded them here. And what you'll want to do is look in the description and look at what operations manager is compatible with the version of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid integrated that you are using. And also look at the stem cells and upgrade what is appropriate. And make sure that you are on a operations manager that is compatible with your current version and your destination version. If you remember, the operations manager is an older version, so it will need to be upgraded before upgrading the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid tile. And looking at the current version of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid integrated that we are using, we can see what operations manager that it can support, and it can support the same latest one that the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid integrated that we want to upgrade to. So that makes things a little bit easier. First thing that we're going to want to do is export the install settings of our Ops Manager. And once we have that, we can go to the vCenter and find the Opsman VM. And from there, go to Configure and copy the old configuration settings. We will be using these for the new Ops Manager that we'll be deploying. Now you will want to shut down the Ops Manager VM. So when you deploy the new Ops Manager VM, there is not a conflict. In my environment, I keep all my VMs inside a management folder. And here I want to copy the name and change the name of my Ops Manager to include the version. So next time I can see what version I am running just from the VM name. And just follow through the OVA wizard Place it in a resource pool if you'd like. Select your storage. I'm using vSAN, so it's going to select a storage policy for me. And then here you'll want to use the same network that your old ops manager was using. If you have a lot of networks, the filter can help. Unfortunately for me, my browser saved a lot of the settings, so I was able to go through and put these in rather quickly. and then click to deploy your OVA. And depending on where you're deploying your OVA from can determine how quickly the OVA uploads. So I would suggest using a jump box that is close to the vCenter so you're not uploading through like a proxy or anything that might have a slower network connection if that is something that you have access to. Once the deployment has been complete, power on your new Ops Manager. And then in the browser, you can refresh and import the existing installation. And this is where you'll find the file that we exported earlier. And then use the passphrase. This is usually the same password for the admin account. And then log into your new Ops Manager. You should see the same tiles that you had before. And what you'll want to do is review and apply changes. So this will upgrade your Bosch director to the new stem cell and the new Bosch director that this ops manager has. 
Now my harbor uh, does not have access to this network anymore. This lab no longer has that network. So that's why I'm getting these errors. And what you'll see is I later delete harbor because I no longer have that network. I'll speed up the video because it does take a little while for these changes to apply. It does have to compile some of the packages and deploy new VMs. Now the Pansu Kubernetes grid integrated binaries can be imported. Once imported, the upgrade will be here on the left hand side. Now we import a stem cell. My stem cell is going to fail because this ops manager already came with the same stem cell version. So I actually didn't need to update the stem cell. So sometimes that will happen depending on what version of ops manager you're using. Now you can add the package that we imported earlier to the tile and this will allow for the tile to be upgraded. So what you'll want to do is untick the box for upgrade all clusters if you want to upgrade the clusters one at a time. Otherwise, this will upgrade all the clusters in the environment. And I'll show you how to upgrade the clusters one at a time later in the video. And if you want to see what changes, you can look at that here. You can see the stem cells change. You can see the versions change and so on and so forth. And then when you're ready, apply changes. And this can take some time. So I like to have something to do in the meantime while the upgrade is in progress. And once it's done, you can come over here to the console, log into your TKGI API, list out your clusters. You can see that the version here is 1.15.1 but you can see the versions of the clusters are not. So you'll use the CLI to upgrade the clusters. We'll upgrade the cluster trial first. And you can see the upgrade is in progress. And I'm going to copy the ID so we can take a look at the cluster inside of Bosch. So you can use the Bosch CLI where we have it installed. I like to use it from Ops Manager just because it is there and quick, but it's usually good to have it on a jump box. So you can see that the service instance has the ID inside the name. And you can see the VMs are listed here. And you can see the task is running that is upgrading the deployment. And if you want to see more information, you can debug the task. And if it's too much information, I like to use grep to so just look at the info and error messages, and you can see we're still upgrading. The more worker nodes in a cluster, the longer it's going to take to upgrade. And I'll upgrade the next cluster. And once that's finished, the environment is upgraded. And that's how you upgrade Tanzu Kubernetes Grid Integrated. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you in your next upgrade. Bye.